I don't know, take 10. This is ridiculous. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech. Once again, we're coming back with another video today. We have to cover this topic. Son's birthday went great. So thanks everybody that reached out and congratulated him for his fifth birthday, by the way. And it was fantastic. Today, we got to talk about Red Panda Mining's call to miners, basically to throw a coup against Ethereum. I wouldn't necessarily call it a coup yet, but it is basically a demonstration in protest against Stop EIP 1559. We'll get into it right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button down below and you will be able to access our privately hosted rocket chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access and after that you just need to head on over to the membership tab, scroll down and expand out your membership perks and find the section for connecting on social media. In that section there will be a secret registration URL for rocket chat where you can sign up and enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without scammers, spammers or bots. Okie doke, so we're just gonna hop right into the tweet from Red Panda Mining who said for educational purposes, let's collectively move our hash to ethermine.org on April 1st for 51 hours. Hashtag stop EIP 1559, hashtag Ethereum. So hold on just one second. Nobody here is saying that we're gonna perform a 51% attack at this time. With the sediment of miners, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody did try to do that. But at this time, that's not what Red Panda Mining is saying here. Because there is this little carrot that the Ethereum devs have kind of dangled in front of miners, who said that essentially, from my understanding, if it could be demonstrated that 40% or more of the network could be taken over, then they would take it into consideration before passing EIP 1559. So let's talk about the three scenarios that are going around on Twitter in relation to this. First, the good outcome, what miners are expecting, the overall hash rate of Ethermine to reach 51% and no attack to take place, only to show the ETH devs that an attack could happen. Bad outcome, what might happen. As an attacker, they don't have to hack all mining pools. They just have to hack Ethermine on the 1st of April, and they can literally pull off a 51% attack. If most of the hash power is on Ethermine, this would force a rollback, and it would be Ethereum 2015 to 2021 rip. I mean, you guys get the idea. An attacker could perform a 51% attack. The middle ground or outcome which they are saying is a better approach is to stop as overall hash rate re reaches 40 percent if you followed the community calls the eth dev said 40 percent would be enough for them to consider taking action anything above 50 percent is dangerous territory that can cause damage essentially all right so if this is possible and we can form a protest essentially and basically demonstrate to the ETH devs that it is possible to perform a 51% attack and that miners could coordinate that, in theory, they may consider making some changes. Maybe that block reward update that Bits is talking about. Who knows? Here's my thoughts on it. I don't think that it's necessarily possible the reason being is that the pool that supports EIP 1559 F2 pool has gone up to 10% of the total network hash within the past couple weeks. We know that InnoSilicon has been working on new ASICs and we also know from the dev calls that InnoSilicon supports Ethereum. So my thoughts here in, in general is that there's a lot more hash power than just the GPU miners that are out there. However, this would be an interesting test to see what the hash power is for GPU miners. So I say if you're a GPU miner, go ahead and do it. Then we actually know how much power we actually have, which could be kind of cool. Now, I want to make this clear as well. I do not have any ill will or intent towards the Ethereum devs. You should not show any ill will or intent 
ill will or ill intent towards any Ethereum devs, period. That is not what this video is about. That's not what even Red Panda is trying to do here. In no shape or form should you message anything rude, mean, or demeaning towards anybody on the team. And I condone that right now, right off the bat. But we can vote with our graphics cards. So you can vote to either mine to F2 pool if you want to vote essentially for EIP-1559, or you can mine to ethermine.org if you wish to vote against EIP-1559. I will leave that choice up to you, but I will show you because there was a question that it's pretty easy to go ahead and within HiveOS, just edit your flight sheet, select the pool and select ethermine. It is on the list. Once you select it, you can select the location closest to you and basically be good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. And I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or, of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.